Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about our Bricks PLC and installing the software for it. And the software is actually the Do More Designer software. So if we head over to the Automation Direct website, you'll see that I have it up on my screen here. And this is the Do More PLC programming software. And under it, you'll see the, all, of the, all of the features. One of the, it's free. And this uh, free uh, software is actually a fully functional software for the entire Bricks um, and Do More series, which consists of the uh, these three controllers that you see up in the picture here. Um, some of the things that are highlighted in the software is we have easy navigation, built-in uh, software videos. So if you're stuck on instruction, you hit the uh, play button. Basically, you'll get a video of how that instruction works. We have built-in simulator. This is one of the most powerful things that I've been using for a few years now. And it actually is fully functional simulator complete with communication ports. That's Ethernet and serial ports. So that means you can uh, uh, program uh, right in your desktop and mimic everything that's going to happen in the field of that uh, uh, simulator. We have local I.O. automatically configured. We have very powerful instruction sets and math instructions. And we have high-speed counter I.O. Um, communications are, are very straightforward and we have data logging and file management within that uh, the software itself. Now if you want you can uh, spend a nominal fee and actually get this software delivered to you on a CD or like we have here we've just downloaded it onto our hard drive. Now with any software there are specifications for the computer that we have to follow and this will run on any Windows computer. So you see up here we have uh, Windows 10, uh, Windows 8, uh, 8.1 and 7. We also can run it on Windows Vista and this is mostly all 32 or 64 bit uh, systems. So you see it's a, a wide range of, of systems that will, this software will run on. The hard drive space is 305 megabits. We also have a video. It, the minimum recommendation is 1024 by 768. It's 256 color. They recommend actually the, the 1280 by 722 color. You'll also see that we have um, a one kilohertz um, single core processor that's recommended, or that's uh, minimum. The recommended would be a two core uh, multi, uh, two gigahertz multi uh, core processor. Um, as far as memory, um, it's one gigabyte that's recommended, or um, recommended, or one byte that is actually minimum, uh, one gigabyte or three gigabytes is actually recommended to have for your memory. So here's our communication cable. Now in order to download this, we'll hit this uh, button right here and that will call up another window and that window is our resources, resources here. So we can download the latest version which is 2.03 and you can see I've done this already. There's my uh, file that's already ready to down, that's been downloaded. Um, you also get software update notification. If you hit this, you can enter your email address and specify what software you want to get updated on. When, when you do that, Automation Direct will automatically give you notification um, exactly what you need. And in this page as well, you'll see the hardware specifications that we just went through. And then we also have how to do, uh, do more so, uh, firmware updates. So we have additional resources right on this page. So once we download that, we have it in our folder and it looks something like that. We right click on this folder and we extract all. And what we'll do is we'll uh, just extract it to the default. Now that we have it up on our screen here, we have two files. The one is actually a setup that will actually install the software. The second is an updates uh, PDF. It actually tells you everything that's new within version 2.0, which is an interesting read because it's all about the BRICS PLCs and the uh, advances they've done on the software for the BRICS. So in order to start the software, we actually double click on here and it will start the installation process. A little splat, uh, splash screen that comes up. Do more designer 2.0, then the wizard. Here's your setup. 
And now, since I've already programmed this, it's actually asked me to modify or repair. Um, let's just do a modify. So we'll hit next. And it selects all the, the uh, program features. We'll just say all the same. And then it will start our installation. So this software, again, is very intuitive. It's very easy to operate. And you'll find that it's a, a, a great thing to have. Um, especially if you do not have the hardware right away, you can use the software right away and, and do it. So here's the maintenance all complete, so we just hit finish. So now our software is um, installed on our system. And when that happens, um, we'll just close these windows now. And you'll see that we have a icon now on our desktop, which is a Do More Designer software. If we now double click on it, it starts up the software itself. And the first thing you'll notice is that we have this tip of the day. Um, this is going to automatically start, so we'll just hit close for that. The next thing that pops up is our um, select project. Now, because we haven't started any project at all, um, that's blank right now. So um, if we've had previous uh, projects open, or we're working on something, it would automatically start up. So excellent uh, uh, indication that we do that. We can actually turn this on and off if we want, but I like to leave it on. Close that. Now we get into the um, main program. I'll just uh, resize it a little bit so you can see everything on the screen. And what you'll see that's relatively new is now we have five short videos that you can actually watch in order to uh, get acquainted with the software and be up to speed relatively quickly with it. Now the other thing I'd like to show you is that when you first start it up and you have an older version of the firmware, it will automatically ask you to update that firmware. If you don't have that, if you hit help and then go to check for updates, it will actually come up with that updates for firmware. And anything that you have, it actually checks on the internet, comes back and, and makes sure that you have the latest version. And if there was something here, you'd have the download selected and then you'd go to install. All right. Now all the links and the downloads can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. You'll see the links below this video. Now if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. You will get notification every time we publish new content to the site. You will also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.